Alright, welcome back. This is Minyak. Today we'll be look well. Today we'll be looking at the tier six British Premium Destroyer, the Gallant. Okay, so this video I'm just going to title it, title it testing the Gallant. Well, I don't exactly own a Gallant. This is two days testing. So this is a testing. Okay, a little bit about my captain. My captain has zero skill. Okay, so no skill at all. No priority alert, nothing. Zero, zip, nil. Okay. Okay, if you like this type of video, hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe. Alright, okay. So, the uh, tier 6 gallant. Okay, a little bit about the gallant. It has 4 turret, 120mm, uh, 5 second reload. Uh, the torpedo is uh, 2. Two launcher, uh, four torpedo each, so you could actually drop eight torpedoes. The range of the torpedo is eight kilometers. General quarters. Reload time on the torpedo is what 96 seconds, so it's a minute and a half. Uh, concealment, my concealment is 6.6 .6 because my captain is zero zero skill. Yeah, the torpedo launcher is also 96 seconds without torpedo armament. I think this ship would be a good uh, torpedo, well, torpedo boat, or might be, a, well, depending on how you like it, but uh, it seems that the, this uh, destroyer is uh, leaning toward more torpedo centric. Yeah, the torpedo speed is only 61 knots, so it's, it's not exactly that great, and uh, the damage is 15k. At tier 6, uh, 15k is quite a lot, I guess. I don't know. I think Japanese player has a bigger, bigger damage, I guess, for torpedo. But yeah, this is still a Japanese. Well, this is not a Japanese. This is British. British. Oi, mate. This is British ship. Okay. I'm thinking it's like a Japanese destroyer. Okay. The HP pool is pittance. 12k yeah it's nothing so yeah you will have to rely a lot on concealment and the concealment is bad i don't know why would you purchase this premium shit again i don't know so the aa what aa <laughs> the aa is, is a nuisance at best it, uh, the aa uh, it's non-existent. It only has like one gun doing nothing. So yeah, turning off AA or turning on AA doesn't make much difference. I'll just turn off the AA, AA on this ship. Uh, it has uh, the consumable oak and speed boost. Well, really, pretty much a generic uh, destroyer. Torpedoes direct front. Yeah, the concealment is not that great. 6.6. Uh, this is with camo, but uh, if you have a captain, probably can get it down to 6.1. For a torpedo boat, this is uh, not very good. Yes, because I'm used to playing uh, Japanese destroyer uh, torpedo, you know, boat. Japanese tor tor uh, Japanese destroyer has 5.6 concealment, 5.4 concealment. Uh, at this tier, yes, at five. Tier 6, Ihatsu Haru goes. That has a very good conceal concealment and a very good uh, torpedo range, which is actually longer than the British one. I guess, I don't know. The reload time on the torpedo is not great either, it's 96 seconds. At this tier, uh, I think the Japanese destroyer can. Uh, the reload time on the Japanese torpedoes is about. One minute. This thing is 96. Seconds. So it has longer torpedo. I don't know why this is this ship premium again. Uh, I don't know. Maybe it has. Well, it ha it actually has. It's quite armored compared to uh, Japanese. But if you play destroyer, it doesn't really make any difference. This is, even though this is uh, a bit armored than the Japanese destroyer, this is uh, only 12k. 12k HP, nothing, it's nothing. One torpedo hit, you're dead. Okay. 
So, first things first, dumping torpedoes towards Arizona. Well, I'm capturing the A area. Yes, I'm creating a torpedo wall. The gameplay style of this ship is not that. I don't know. I don't like this ship. It's a it's a testing ship. I, uh, maybe I uh, I have Torpedoes to play to it a lot more. But uh, so the guns has a very good fire chance. It has eight percent fire chance compared to Japanese. The Royer only have five percent five percent fire chance. This thing has eight percent, so you could actually start fire e, e well, not easily. It's easier. You reload on the gun. Well, the gun only has four turret, four turret, one, one gun each, so it's only four guns. It's not exactly going to make any part of this. Okay, this is actually my second time playing the gallant. The first time is actually I died horribly. Because the carrier decided to pick me as the, their target, and there's two carriers. Player without any uh, AA. <laughs> well, yeah. For a premium ship, I was hoping that it has a better AA. But it does not. Better to the ship in plane. For the Congo. Yep, I still have no kill. After. Oh, yeah, it's the positive thing about the gun that it has the fire. So I am running away from the Congo. Yep, it's not good. Yep, the Congo is burning and piling up. Well, I'm piling up damage on the Congo, though I'm doing nothing. That's what you get for burning ship, I guess. Hey, okay. well, the Congo is almost dead. Well, my fire is going to kill him. Well, um, the uh, carrier has to get the kill. Okay. Yeah, it happens sometimes with this game. Okay, I am turning back. Yeah. Well, my team is not winning at this point because the... Uh, well, I don't know what the rest of the team doing in down below. I mean, I have to one, two, three. Who's? Yeah, the, there's a lot more ship on A than on what is that? D area. D area only have three ships. Or pretty much the bigger portion of the air fleet. Uh, the enemy fleet is on A. If I am going to try again, creating a torpedo wall. Trying to hmm, hold this bunch of ships at bay. Okay, Grabport is trying to in. Well, I'm going to try to kill, steal this Grabport. He's dying anyway. Might as well kill him. Kill steel, yay! Hooray for kill steel. Well, oh, 62k damage. Uh, my torpedo hit the Arizona, I think. I am going to turn around. Well, the Motsu dead. And that's what you get. Uh, well, he's, he has 
I guess he did his job well as a battleship. Pretty much holding a lot of ship. Yeah, my team is still losing. Oh, so the, en the enemy is getting bold and try to charge from the A area. Okay, the Arizona is turning around, so I am not around to. Left side, right side. Okay, I am going to the right side again. Turning around again. Well, this ship is. Well, the turning rate is not that bad, I guess. Well, okay, the maximum speed is bad, all. 36 knots. Foyer is not that good. But, okay. Well, concentrate fire on the Fuso. Well, somebody better fire on the Fuso. Uh, Fuso is not near me. Smoke generator started. Yeah, I am spotted by the Farragut Midas. So I am going to put pop, pop, try to create some fire. Screen set. Okay. Oh man, that's just burn. Okay. Hmm. 80k damage so far. Trying to burn the punish. Yeah, eight percent chance is very good, especially if you have demolition expert, then you will have about ten percent fire chance. Percent fire chance in uh, spammy. Yep. Okay, Konik is burning. Yep. Alright. Now that okay, the table has turned, we hunt this Faragut. Yeah, okay. The smoke has expired. I have to... Uh, oops. Just... Make it easier for me to dodge incoming shell. Okay, I'm going to hunt the paragon. Oh, the paragon is also a gunship, but it has less health than. Fine. Yeah, it's not going to work. Inside smoke. Okay, the battleship Octa get got the kill for the Farragut. Okay. Turning around. Fuso oh, is almost dead. Oh no, no, no kill still. Alright, I'm going to capture back the, the area. Yeah, the gallant. Personally, I think the gallant. Well, there's only two ship left. Uh, well, three kills. Not bad, I guess. Uh, personally, I think the gallant is a mediocre. Uh, for a premium ship, it is very mediocre. And it, ha it has no AA. Well, the AA. One gun AA is not exactly a, uh, an AA. 
So it, if you are look, if you purchase this ship, yeah, and there are a lot of carrier, you will be very disappointed, especially if the carrier tries started to hunt you down. Yeah, you cannot rely on a lot on the other people, you know, uh, carrier carrier to help you with this ship. It's very unlikely. So if you purchase this gallant, yeah, be, be prepared to rent a lot when there are a lot of, you know, when the carrier tries to hunt you down. So, yeah. If you're looking, I think this, if you're looking for a torpedo boat, Japanese uh, destroyer is actually better than this. Well, it can fire a single torpedo line like any British destroyer, I guess. That's a plus. But I didn't, I'm not. I'm not using the single fire, torpedo fire. This game. Battle ends in five minutes. So I am going to try to kill the. Probably I should kill the carrier first. Carrier is a pain in the butt. Like if it's not taken care of first. First things first. Killing the uh, cruiser is actually harder harder to do on the destroyer, so yeah, I'll just save that Nuremberg for last. After I kill the Yes. Very very good torpedo placement. <laughs> okay, 123 damage. So I'm at 4 kills. Might as well try for a Kraken. That's fine. Well, I have more health. Okay. All right, that's the end of the video. Yeah, I forgot to take a snapshot of my result, but yeah, there is four kill right there. But yeah, missing a kraken. But yeah, personally, I think uh, the gallant, hmm, it, it has a good. Well, the turret is not that bad. It can actually create fires with eight uh, percent fire chance. Torpedo is ninety six. Let me see, fifteen k damage, ninety six. Seconds reload is uh, okay, I guess, but the AA is just garbage, total garbage. If you play this uh, destroyer and you are meeting, if you are the only destroyer on the game and you have two carriers on, uh, you know, two carrier on the other side, well, you're dead meat. I can guarantee you that. All right, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Uh, thank you for watching. I will see you guys on the next uh, video. All right. Uh, this is Minyak signing off.